All right, crew, we've got some huge news. We are leaving our cute, beautiful house in Seattle. We are taking this RV that we've been renovating for the last five months or so, and we are heading out on the road. Do we know how long we're gonna be on the road? Nope. Do we know what we're doing for income? Sure don't. Do we know where we're going? Do we even know why we're doing this? That we actually do know. So we wanna start out by saying how grateful we are for the lives that we've had in Seattle. We have really incredible friends. We have an amazing homeschool community. Brent has had a fantastic job. We obviously have a wonderful place to live. The best neighbors. And so you might be asking, why would we be leaving? And the answer is, is that over the years, Brett and I have had a lot of conversations about what we want our lives to look like and what our values are. I don't know if some of you can relate to this, but we realized we just weren't spending much time together as a family. Our time together was very limited to evenings and weekends. I'm sure, like I said, that many of you can relate to that. Whether one of you works or you both work, it just seems like it's hard to find time together as a family. We wanted to be able to spend more of that time together and to really build something as a family. We also realized we weren't feeling very much like a team. You know, Brett was going to his full-time job every day. I was dedicating all of my time to being at home and homeschooling Emerson. And we just, we weren't feeling that team camaraderie that we wanted. And we realized that we wanted to build something together as a family that we could, could do. <laughs> While we clearly had all of our creature comforts met, right down to the white picket fence, we just found that we were relatively unhappy. We didn't feel like we were sharing the gifts that we have with the world and really living our purpose. Yeah, and I think at, at some point, you know, it, it kind of clicked for me personally that I had been, I think, really driven in my, you know, I'll just call it adult life by the fear of financial insecurity. And at some point toward the end of last year, 2023, it kind of really clicked for me that I actually had a bigger fear than that. And that fear was getting to the end of my life and realizing that I hadn't really used my potential. Coming to the realization that I hadn't endeavor to figure out what my gift was and to leverage that gift in a way that brought me fulfillment and improved the lives of my family and people around me. And so once I realized that that fear was greater than my fear of financial insecurity, it really just unlocked this whole world for us. And I think gave me personally the permission to break outside of kind of the traditional employment norm that I thought was really the only path forward. So that was kind of a big turning point. Now, I will say this is obviously a very scary thing for us. Yeah. We don't have some big nest egg or trust fund where we can just go and travel for six months and not worry about anything. Like this is a, this is a big risk and we are going all in on this future vision for our family. We are putting all of our eggs in this basket and I think honestly feeling great about it. We are fully committed to taking the risk and putting our hearts and souls into making a better life for our family and crafting something that I think is more aligned with the people that we are and the type of son that we want to raise. Ultimately where this all leads for us is a really, really exciting place down the road. We have been dreaming about kind of the end state and the end game for a long time, strategizing on how to get there, the, the business aspects of it. And I think we've started to now put that all together in a tangible way. And we have some, I think, really, really exciting things coming up. We know where we want to get to. We just don't know where that is exactly. And when you say we don't know where that is, we mean location-wise, <laughs> yeah. You know, we have a vision for what it is that we, we want. We just don't know exactly where the right place to do it is yet. Yep. <laughs> 
So I think despite the uncertainty, which is basically about everything, we've never RV'd before. We've never been without income before. I mean, and so, but I, I am grounded in the fact that the vision that we've had for years continues to persist. And so I know it's authentic. And the fact that we've even taken initial steps toward it, such big steps like me quitting my job is I think just validation that this is the right, this is the right move. We have huge, exciting, massive plans that we're not going to reveal now. <laughs> we're not gonna tell you about it. <laughs> but if you're interested in, in what we're doing at all, stay tuned and um, it'll be an exciting journey no matter where we go. But I'm really, really excited about what we have planned and that's the news. Yeah. So what the this channel is gonna look like following the RV renovation is going to be our travels. Um, what that looks like for us, an honest look at probably some of the challenges that we have on the road, kind of figuring all of this out. We're gonna have a lot of learning as we go. And, you know, it's gonna be interesting, exciting, and... And then I think at some point, you know, we are going to be literally and figuratively building a massive thing from scratch. And we're gonna document all that too. So in sharing this news with some of the people that we've just encountered, we have gotten the whole spectrum of reactions from, gosh, that's amazing, like I'd love to do something like that, to you guys are crazy. So we understand if some of you have questions, we would love to answer any questions that you have. We may or may not have answers. So if you do have questions, if you know us personally, you can text us, call us, email us. Um, if you don't know us personally, you can leave your questions in the comments below and we will answer them as best we can. We're gonna have a lot of unanswered questions for ourselves that we're gonna be just answering along the way. But yeah, we just wanted to give you an opportunity to ask questions, um, any, anything that you are curious about. Yeah. I will say, while we have received some interesting and perplexing responses, nine out of 10 people are super supportive. And I think that just kind of outpouring of support and interest and love and just good energy that people have been sending is just really, I would say validating, but it's also, it just means a lot. And it just goes to show that like, even though we're gonna be on the road. We do have a support system. Yeah. Okay. Wish us luck. We don't need it because we got heart and soul. But we some, appreciate some luck would be good. We appreciate your support. <laughs> See ya.